Hello again, man. Nuggets of wisdom. Another teachable moment. Why like it, share, hit the notification bell for new content. Brothers and sisters, smash that subscription button so we can share this content with more and more people. My teachable moment today from my man Guy V. Like his content a lot. And I want you to just uh, check in with me. I'm not going to waste your time. Let's get into it. I'm 18. I keep overthinking about everything. Relationship, friends, work, money, all that stuff. How do I turn down the volume, quiet the voices, and just really focus? That all comes from the same place of insecurity, of like not believing in yourself and or over worrying about what they think about you. Which one do you think it is? I mean both. Like, let's say, of course, like, they kind of work hand like, in hand, right? Do something that I don't like my girlfriend might not like. Right. Oh, what if she breaks up? Like, if I well, let's friend, play it out. What if she breaks up with you? You'll be sad. Yeah. You love her. And? Life continues, I guess. You're gonna find someone else you love. Yeah, but you can't, I don't think of that like right now, because I'm 18, I can take a you know. There's no 18 excuse here. <laughs> it's not about being 18. There's people at 18 that fucking change the world. You're letting fear dictate your actions. You're scared. Yeah. That's okay. Everyone's scared. I'll flip it on you. The fact that you're 18 and mature enough to understand that fear is real, that's a strength. That means you're halfway home. What's the other halfway? The other halfway is practicing losing. You gotta start doing shit that's scary and have it not work out so you can fucking taste it. Got it? Let me stop this. Man. This knocked me off my feet. It's something you already know, but failure is not the word we like using today. Failure is not what we, the world only wants the, the, the winning, the one that you won. But one of the words that he said today, two things that I that I found out. Fear of being detached from people, because he said he had a girlfriend, and also not understanding losing. You see, the, the topic of the video said this is that every 18-year-old should hear this. I believe everybody should hear this. Practice to lose. Practice to lose. We do not add that in the equation. We have a society that always want to say, oh, we want to stack the records up year by year, blah, blah, blah. It all stacks, numbers. And I understand the numbers, I get that. But, Gary, if you could have not put it better, that you going into things, the, the, the problem that the last loss actually paralyzed us to the point that we don't want to move to the next thing. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying you can do it straight away, it's gonna be, you can jump from one place to another, but they also, we have to also recondition our minds. I came from a family, not family, I came from a culture where everybody just have to pass an exam or everybody has to do well. Everybody has to have the biggest money. Everybody has to have There's no room for failure. So there's nothing to practice. It's a very healthy way approach to life. That do not go in there believing that there will not be some losses. I'm not saying that nobody wakes up in the morning and say, you know what, oh, no, I want to go and I want to lose today. No. Nobody wants up and say, oh, I just, I just want to lose. But it's part of life. And we, we, we as a culture, we as a people, we as a collective, to understand the fact that failure is part of the equation. Oh, only you said that before. I don't think we really understand it enough. 
Okay, let's say maybe it's not money. Let's say it's not job. Look at the area of uh, area of emotions, you, uh, 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 emotional relationships. You were saying that, oh, what if she breaks up with me? Bro, there are one billion people, or how many people, billions in the world? And I know it's easy said than done. I know sometimes there's some heartbreaks that are taking you to the cleaners. But what is the alternative? Dwell there and roll over? What is it? What is the alternative? What are you going to do? I'm not going to. I believe, just in a relationship, it's like you're saying, oh, I will, all men are this. No, all the men you dealt with are that. All the women you dealt with is this. Nobody enjoys failure. There's some failures that are actually hard to take, especially if you're putting your all in. But it's part of the equation. And I want that to actually sink in. I want us to understand it. I know we, I know we think we do, but we don't. We, 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 pay, we pay lip service to unpleasant things. As long as it's giving us pleasure, we are fine. Or, because when it's pleasurable, let's be honest, no, nobody wants to win. When, 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 when it's easy, oh yeah, let, let's go pop the, the, the champagne, let's go hang out, let's do what we need to do. Yeah, that's basically what it is. But that doesn't make any sense. It's part of life. There's just some things you can't control. You're either going to, you know, make it happen or it doesn't happen. You're going to have to find a way. You have to understand that you listen to, I was listening to, to the captains. They, I'm not a baseball fan. And yeah, I think it's, it's Gerald Dieter, the, the, the baseball guy. And he was saying something today and he said his dad told him you're not going to win one game you have to build a resume you have to build a body of work and part of your body of work and none of your body of work is going to be perfect your body of work does not mean everything's going to be the way it is but the problem we want to do a one-time wonder Quick to the quick, quick to the finish line. Not learn anything, and we expect the answer to just flow. This is, I've heard this before. This is for eighteen-year-olds. I don't think so, man. This is for a whole lot of us, especially we. Especially myself, I know it to be true. I've understanding it, but a lot of us, we old heads, right? We're still playing on the old playbook. The old playbook that I have to meet up. The whole playbook that something that the old playbook that I cannot, I'm not supposed to go down at, at my age or whatever. It's it's absurd, man. So I say that again. Whatever you're doing, I wish you success. I wish you that doors open. I wish you can get it the first time. But part of success is failure. Part of success is setbacks. I've said that in so many other videos. I just wanted to reiterate this again because we can say the same thing in so many ways. It's just the way it hits. And it can hit people differently. So I'm going to close with this. For us to be super successful in anything we do, I do not want to be the bearer of bad news. But sometimes, from the, from the words of Gary V, you got to practice to lose. This is Olu again. Our teachable moment is practice to lose for you to be successful. God bless. I'm out. <laughs>